You liking this one? You know, Ken, I always like the smell of coffee. I could be in the greasiest spoon restaurant and they bring over a cup of coffee and I just always feel good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Even though I've, I've had plenty of times where there's yeah. been a might be a little disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, uh, this is, oh man. Oh, that flower expert again. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it was the roaster of this uh, coffee who telepathically knew that I was going to give slightly diss it, just a little bit. Oh! Uh, partly because the, the first two samples were powerfully aromatic, and this one has less range of aromatic notes. Yeah. Solid, balanced cup, though. Yeah, yeah, it should be. But we'll it, it doesn't have the singing, lyric brightness that number one had, nor does it have that yeah. vibrant depth that uh, number two has. It's just a good, yeah. solid, balanced cup. This would be the kind of Costa Rica, that's maybe not quite Volvo, you know, maybe this is a uh -oh. <laughs> less pricey model of a coffee. <laughs> But it's a good coffee, you know, and I'm picking up a kind of a tart berry. In Kenya, as we call it, black currant, kind of a savory, sweet berry note. There's definitely a berry note. Here. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Now that I'm, I've gotten to that note, it, <laughs> it opens up the whole cup for me. The floral notes. Oh, yeah. I don't know what to call the flowers. It's just kind of a nice, sweet. No. Maybe your lilac. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good. I'd that's be a, a little lilac. If we yeah, had to attach uh, nice and sweet one flower, that might be a good one. Now that I got into the nose, I was not very receptive to this coffee when I first entered it. It's fine now. I like it a lot. You know, there's a kind of a rounded depth to the the aromatics. I'm getting a kind of a buttery character to the aroma. All right, another good one. Probably washed to coffee, but it could be some other, it could be honey in this case, honey process. Mm. Wow, this is, uh, is actually surprisingly, yeah, I just had a sip. This one's a crowd pleaser, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I was worried for a second, but no, I have nothing to worry about. <laughs> yeah, the co talking about, uh, you know, you bring up the fact that certain coffees appeal to a wide range of coffee drinkers. This, this, yeah, and this yeah. one, I think, would, would do that because the acidity is very rounded, matrixed into the cup. It really doesn't stand out. It has good sweetness. What do you think of the mouthfeel, the body? Very nice mouthfeel, very nice viscosity. Full, but man, the word is medium. Yeah, exactly. Medium. This is, this is um, medium in a lot of ways, this cup. I think there's that fruit, that kind of twisty berry fruit that makes it stand out. I'm almost, really, I'm going out on a limb here. I'm wondering if this, is, this came from trees of the SL28 the Kenya variety, there have been some of the small producers in Costa Rica have been planting it. Unlikely. But if it's true, then that would account for this black currant kind of savory berry note. It'll be interesting to find out. I think you're right. The mouthfeel is somewhere between one and two. If you're talking about weight of the body, say medium body, the viscosity is, is pleasing, but not syrupy or... Uh, or plush. Anything to add before we disclose on this one, Kevin? The only person who won't be happy with this is someone who, who is seeking the extreme. And you know, once right. in a while, I, I admit I do. This would be yeah. for a regular crowd-pleasing drinking coffee. This is a safe bet for anybody. Right. Yeah, the structure is, is very balanced and low-key. 
you're not going to offend anybody by something that's too tart or too bitter. It's a very nicely balanced structure. And enough aromatics, I think, to make it interesting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, what is it? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Tico Coffee Roasters, and they're in uh, Campbell, California. Oh, it's La Manita. Yeah, hmm. it's a La Manita. I had to include a La Manita. I just had to do right, it. I would right. <laughs> We should explain that La Manita Estate was the classic high-grown Costa Rica Tarazu coffee that created the idea of estate coffees in the American specialty industry. I believe it was the first coffee from a given farm or estate that was marketed in the name of that estate. The owner of the farm, Bill McAlpin, became really a celebrity based on the success of this La Manita coffee. This La Manita, I should say, is not as, as La Manita-esque as number one. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 would, would you, I would agree. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, it has the balance, right? It doesn't have the uh, aromatic range. There are floral notes. There are cocoa notes. There are... I, I bring in nuts with this one, maybe almond. It doesn't surprise with a big range of aromatics. And the balance is just on the edge of maybe too balanced, <laughs> not enough vivacity perhaps in the structures. What I was worried about, Kevin, when we decided to do Costa Rica's and I learned that the, the high altitude Costa Rica's, a lot of them had not reached the United States. I became concerned that the, we might have some past crop. It's barely possible, I suppose, that this is a past crop La Manita. In other words, a La Manita coffee would be so well processed right. and such a good coffee that even, even after a year, it might still be very good. It might taste like this. Um, yeah, yeah. There's no way we can find out at this moment, is there? I'll tell you what, I can find out. Hi, uh, this is Kevin Sinnott from Coffeeist. I had a follow-up question about your coffee. We are filming right now, and uh, I would love to ask a question. The new crop that's perhaps coming in already in the U.S., or if this might be for some of last year still, would really help me establish uh, a point in the show about tasting it. That it is what? It is past crop. I mean, it certainly is a really good coffee, and yes, how can I put this? It's like when you find a bottle of wine and it's from a really good vintner. <laughs> I'd rather have a year later from some vintners than I would this year from others. Yeah. But uh, well, but but coffee is coffee uh, do, is opposite of wine in that respect. You know, it's uh, yes, yeah, it doesn't it, get better. The, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. I realize that saying between uh, new crop and past crop is not fair because there's also current crop. It'd be fairer, perhaps, to say that this is current crop, sort of towards the end of the of the crop year, not past crop. Past crop can be a real put down right. in the sense that there's the idea is that the new crop is available, and the roaster, out of cheapness or wanting to get rid of inventory, is roasting past crop. So that would be a a coffee sin of kind. But uh, in the case yeah. that somebody's Costa Rica hasn't come in yet and they still want to roast Costa Rica and they're roasting current crop, it's uh, late current. So we'll see. we'll see. Is there ever such a thing as new crop that is too new? Is it at its best very peak at the first of it? I don't know, Kevin. That's probably the first time you've heard that from me on this show, but uh, I suspect well, I will that it treasure depends it. on the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect it depends on the coffee. Well, I will uh, try to determine whether there's any real information as opposed to folklore on that. It also, of course, depends on how well the coffee's been rested and uh, prepared. 
uh, how well it's been transported. Uh, there's been a lot of studies of moisture activity in the bean. In other words, if there's a, been a lot of drying and re rewetting, in a sense, absorbing moisture, that kills the flavor, basically. <laughs> I think it really depends on how well conditioned the coffee is with start. The reason I thought maybe this is a past crop La Manita is because it was very good. It's a very solid coffee, but a, just a little muted. That yeah. suggested perhaps since La Manita would be so well prepared to start with that it might a uh, cup like this after uh, Near the end. By the way, I just want to say, from my point of view, I would happily drink this coffee all day. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more shows like this.